need to stay, finna walk out that door My mistake, giving you love, girl, Lord Hope you find someone that can really adore you Don't worry, I ain't keeping grudges Cause I'm doing better Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Shanice. If you're new here, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, what's good, what's poppin'? Welcome back to another vlog. So as you guys just saw, I did a few things this morning. I made my bed, packed up some clothes, put them away, and did some dishes. Well, at least I put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> Those were all things that I couldn't get to last night because I was so tired. So I just went straight to bed and then I just took a nice, nice shower. I feel so refreshed now and just ready to start my day. Of course, before the day starts, I got to put on some deodorant and I actually wanna share the deodorant that I've been using for the last month and a half, maybe even a little bit longer. And it's from Native. And Native is my go-to brand for deodorants. That's just what it is. I've been using their products for a while now. They actually just launched their new deodorant and their body spray collection. When they came out with the spray, I was like, yes, yes, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> and of course it's aluminum free because I'm an aluminum free deodorant type of girl. Been like that. It's either aluminum free deodorant or no deodorant at all. That's just my preference. So these are the new native deodorants that they came out with. I love them because there are only six ingredients in them. They're cruelty free, paraben free, vegan. These are my top three scents. The lilac and white tea. This is a perfect spring summer deodorant. It's very like florally and just fresh smelling. Cucumber mint is definitely my everyday go-to scent. I wear it when I'm going to the gym. I wear it when I'm going to Pilates. Yes, I'm a Pilates girl now I love it and I just wear it on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm just chilling around the house and then my ultimate favorite oh I love this one so much it's the coconut and vanilla and I love to put this on when I'm going out when I'm going on a date when I'm just gonna step outside and I want to smell good because it goes really really well with all of the fragrances that I use on a daily basis so it mixes well it smells divine the coconut and vanilla mixture just it gives me that vacation vibe I love it so much I also use the stick this is my travel version I just put it in my purse same scent and love it and guys you can use this as a deodorant but you can also use it as an all-around spray so I love that it's multi-use it dries down super quickly and for me I'm pretty much odor free all day so yeah if you guys are interested definitely use my linking code Nisi to get 20% off of your first purchase at Native this offer is available on the site but only for a limited amount of time so definitely make sure you save and stock up I personally think that you are gonna love this deodorant and yeah if you guys end up purchasing it let me know how it goes for you yeah for the rest of the day I don't don't really have a lot planned I'm kind of just going with the flow but y'all know I am moving soon so I want to start doing things around the house to get us prepared for this move I want to show you guys a few things that I got from Zara I'm going to this little event later in my building and I have to edit so those are the three main things so let's go yeah I don't know what's going on but Stormy has been super super clingy lately I know her period isn't coming because she got it recently, but she's, if I'm not, if she's not beside me, she just starts to cry and make this weeping sound. Like, look, she just has to be all up underneath me. Like, while I was filming just now, she just started weeping and crying. And I'm like, why are you crying? And it hasn't even been five minutes. Uh, she's like a little baby, but she's my baby. Y'all, this glare on my blue light glasses are so annoying. A lot of you guys ask me about these blue light glasses. I got them from Key Australia, but I got them maybe like three years ago now. So I don't know if they're still there. And what the heck? Here she comes again. She cannot stop following me. But I want to share some of the things that I got from Zara. I got this linen set. Why is this a totally different, what? No, baby, you, what? So I bought this linen set because I saw it in person, but they were the exact same whites. And now that I got it in my head, this is giving yellow and this is giving true white, which is so annoying. And I feel like I passed the return date on this. How did I not realize this? Ugh! going on so many trips this summer and I needed some linen pants 
so I got these they're super wide leg and I think they can go with so many things like I could wear this as an outfit I could wear it with my swimsuits this is definitely gonna be a staple in my closet this summer this dress right here you guys already see me wear love this dress so much y'all wouldn't even believe so when I went to Cabo I had it hung up in the dresser obviously and I forgot it so as soon as I got home I ordered another one so this is the dress right here it is absolutely beautiful love the way that it fits it makes you look amazing I love the knit as well you can wear it summer winter really doesn't matter honestly because it's black and I got this dress right here it's like this cream colored dress very pretty I feel like I can dress this up I can dress this down it's a maxi or midi dress and then I recently just picked up these pants right here they are super wide leg the only thing about them is that the crotch is low and I hate that so I'm gonna have to tailor it or just bring it back I'm not sure yet but I love the color and I thought it could go really well with these earrings they match perfectly honestly don't look at my nails I took off my gel X and it's they look horrendous but these earrings are gorgeous and then I got these earrings as well with pearls on them I'm really into my drop earrings right now for some reason because they're just super pretty like they've been making some really nice drop dangly earrings and then I also got this bag which I'm so excited about because it's in my favorite color and I thought it would be a statement bag for this summer it's so beautiful so this is what it looks like oh my gosh it looks so good this is what it looks like and there is a strap so you can like wear it on your shoulder oh this is so pretty they also have it in this like white cream color so if you're a bride or something like that i think that would look really nice with a lot of your outfits but this is gorgeous shimmy 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 yeah so i literally just sat down and upon sitting down i got this mess from this property management company because if you don't know me and brian are moving well brian is already in phoenix i'm moving and we are moving our things in the next few months so that's a little update too we are moving by hopefully the end of this month at the end of june or early july our lease isn't up until august 1st but we are both very 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 busy i'm not trying to really be here in the summer either i'm either going to be on vacation or i'm going to be in toronto so we have a lot of things going on and we don't want to wait till the dead middle of summer to move all of our stuff it's just not going to work out for us i've actually been to phoenix a few times to look at different places i probably do like a video on all of the um apartments and houses and things that we looked at because Honestly, usually I go online and I Google like apartments in Phoenix or apartments in Dallas, apartments in LA to get an idea of, you know, what I want to look at, but I didn't really see much for Phoenix. So I kind of want to make a video. So if anybody is ever moving to Phoenix, they have a video to look at and hopefully it's helpful to them. So went there the first time i went we toured a bunch of different apartments and they did not have what we were looking for at all it's either like they're only two bedrooms or they're three bedrooms and super super small or the closets are small and obviously we're not going to get everything that we want in an apartment but we want most of it you know what i'm saying because we are paying so yeah the first time we went we looked at maybe like 12 different places and none of them were fitting the mold that we wanted and then brian he's like you know i actually wouldn't mind living in a house or a townhouse and i wasn't too keen on the idea at first because just going to a new city i wanted a community feel i wanted there to be events that i can go to to meet people and just to be in the center of things so i could obviously meet people and do things but i was like honestly I'm open to it. I really am open to it. And after looking through a bunch of places, I was like, okay, a standalone house is a no for me unless we are buying a home. But a townhouse, I'm definitely open to that. And I found a few cute ones online on Zillow. I was so happy that I found them. I was like, 
these are nice and a lot of these townhomes which i think is becoming a big thing in phoenix they are in communities they don't necessarily have all of the amenities or anything like that but they might have a pool they might have a little small gym and like a dog park or something so that's that's something you know and then we're gonna get more of what we want so the property manager just messaged me because this is actually somebody's home i guess they're leasing it and he said our application has been processed now it's being reviewed by the property manager and the homeowner and we should receive a response shortly so i'm hoping we lock in this place so we can get this moving process going brian's like in the next two weeks we should be out of here he already locked in our movers and thank god thankfully every time we move i don't really have to do much i just have to facilitate because his school pays for all of that and they hire movers they hire packers they hire all of that so i just like sit down and be like yeah you can pack these together and make sure that this is like <laughs> yeah but i do have to do some prep work before that because i don't want to go there with a bunch of shit you know we want to be able to organize a little bit and get rid of things that we don't need anymore so i'm definitely doing that before they start packing up this house so if we get approved for this and you know they accept our application this is gonna be the place we move into. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys it. It's gonna be definitely different, but it should be it should be exciting. It should be fun. Okay, anyways, let me start editing this video that I need to edit and I'll be back. I am so hungry right now. I'm about to warm up this food i made yesterday y'all know my favorite i have been craving this so i made it like three times in a row and it's literally just my balsamic honey chicken with jasmine rice and some carrots i'm gonna put it into a bigger bowl and trust me it tastes better than it looks and y'all it's lunchtime now so don't judge me it's not morning anymore y'all so i just came back from getting some packages my building right now actually this happens pretty often the elevators are so slow or some of them are not working we pay too much damn money for that <laughs> and there was no air like everybody was sweating in the elevators it was really crowded in there but anyways i got some packages from the mailbox kind of want to see what i got because some of these packages i don't know what they are <gasps> my favorites i got a package from dermalogica this is one of my favorites right now this is the daily micro exfoliant and i went through one of these bottles already i feel like it's the perfect exfoliant to use every single day so i use this probably maybe every other day but i can definitely use it more often because i feel like my skin has been super congested and that's why i'm breaking out and it's a little rough it's a little textured so i need to use that more often or use like my brush or something i got another package from first aid beauty this is their spf their mineral spf i actually have this but i've never tried it before because i'm so stuck on my super goop and I have a lot of that left. I don't know, we'll see. Mineral sunscreen is a little iffy because a lot of them turn your skin white, but it's way more healthy for your skin and probably contains less toxins. Another Zara package. I got this super cute dress. I'm in so I'm so obsessed with knit dresses, and it has like a little flower at the top. I'm excited to try this on. I don't know how I feel about it because the big old flower in the middle the hair would definitely have to be up for this one and it's a little big around like the booby area i love the knit but i don't think it's doing anything for me and the back is really nice as well but that's all it's giving this is going to be returned i got this top which i thought could look good with my linen pants and it'll just be a super you know casual but dressy casual chic look for vacation 
gotta make sure the whites match i might as well show you because i did try it on but this is what the top looks like and you can adjust it right here like you can make this skinny if you want you can make it wide like this really depends but i think it, i think it could be cute like for an all white beach party which i'm probably gonna be going to on these vacations the back is fully out love that i think i'm gonna keep it and i just got a simple v-neck this one i don't know how i feel about it it's a little short it's like a cropped v-neck but i remember years ago years ago i got two v-necks from zara and i got a black and a white and it lasted like five years over five years thank you guys all for my goodies i'm excited to try everything out i actually think i'm going to start organizing my closet right now or at least going through things and putting stuff in the bags and brian's mom is actually supposed to come here i believe sometime soon maybe by the end of the month and she does a lot of things for our community and I know she's gonna take some of the clothes and some of the products that I have to give away and she's gonna do great things with it. So I kinda wanna just start getting that going and just be a little bit productive. Oh, that, what time is it? That event at my building starts in 15 minutes, so I'm gonna actually change it to something a little bit more lightweight because this is too hot right now. I'm actually gonna have a heat stroke. Y'all, I came downstairs and I got my burger. I'm like probably one of the first people here. There's a few people out here, but nobody I know. <laughs> and they have a whole setup going. I'm not sure what company this is, but they said they're like down the street. They have drinks outside, but they the water. And I thought, because I'm already on the floor where the gym is at, once I'm done digesting my burger, I'm gonna go there and do what is it, 3, 12, 30, 12, 3, 30? Yeah. So that's a plan. Oh, that was a good little workout got my heart rate going I feel good the first like five minutes I was like I cannot do this I can't do this right now but I guess I had a burst of serotonin and I was pumping it out so yeah that was a good 45 minute workout I'm about to jump in the shower get fresh again <laughs> and I don't know I think we'll move on to my clothes that I told you guys about earlier starting to like organize and everything but We'll see how I feel once I get the shower. I might just want to like lay down. Good morning, y'all. So it's a new day. I am actually headed to my laser appointment and I'm going to the mall to make a bunch of returns to Zara. I'm done shopping on Zara for a while. Unless I see something that I really, really, really love, like I'm just gonna stop. It's just, I buy things and then I return them because they're just not what I want. <laughs> they don't look good, so I'm done. I'm gonna hide this from Zara. Oh, that's why I need my glasses. My lashes are falling off. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys when I get to my laser appointment. back from Zara so my bag is empty now as y'all can see and got my laser done it kind of hurt this time for some reason especially like my my legs because I haven't done them in probably over five months so I wasn't used to it on my legs anymore but yeah I'm about to go get lunch at North Italia one of my favorite spots <laughs> he said Oprah y'all 
Oh my gosh, y'all remember him from LA, my bestie with D Ren. I'm not crazy, I promise you. <laughs> he was just talking to Oprah though. I miss my girl, y'all. I miss you too. Sorry, I <laughs> Yeah, so we just met up. We're gonna get some drinks and just chill and, you know, reconnect. Hey, D Ren. So I'll call you right back. <laughs> you hella funny. You hella funny. We got two lemon drops and a Moscow mule. Yay. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do this. I've been for Kendrick Lamar. Um. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I can't leave the next one. Definitely Have not. a good one. You, too. And I dance for Kendrick. <laughs> Yo, Shanice, you My girlfriend is famous, y'all. No, I hate when you say that. Let me tell y'all. So Let me tell you something. Let me say No, no, no. How you do it? How do I push record? Sorry, are you recording? So y'all, let me tell y'all. So Shanice is one of my best friends. She's like my sister. Like, I be telling her crazy shit. She confided me. So let me tell y'all. Every time I post Shanice on my story, y'all, my DMs go crazy. They be like, oh my God, Nisi Poo, Nisi. Cause we all know she's the original hair guru for natural hair. Look at her hair, of course. I, I do love it because my friend is very motivational. Um, she's an inspirational leader, I would definitely say. Um, for her age, she has definitely inspired a lot of people. She's inspired me, and I'm 32 years old. Um, my my boo is everything. Like I definitely appreciate her. Um, she's extremely smart. She's that's not, she's not just a social media presence or YouTube presence. She also does, you know, a little bit of um, what would I call it? Uh, I wouldn't say money exchange, but stock exchange. Um, my girlfriend, she gets her brand deal. So my girlfriend is the real deal. She's not out here frauding the people. Like she's definitely the real deal. She's 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 it. I'm telling you, Shanice is the real deal.